right, so now we have like the greatest album ever. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Arguably. I mean, this is at least top five albums of all time, wouldn't you say, Michael Jackson off the wall? Top ten. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Of all time. All time is a long a time. A lot of people's yeah. lists have Thriller above this, but I, nah, I, nah. I, yeah. I agree. I, I agree with you. Off the wall. Yeah. I agree yeah. with you. And that whole A-B analogy, this is one B-A. Like, right, you know? exactly, yeah. exactly. And it's just, you can't really compare the two for one. I mean, it's like comparing Low End Theory and Midnight Marauders. Bingo. It's yes. like... Yeah, it's a matter of preference. It's, it's so a, subjective. Yeah, it's a testing. Like, thing. Well, it's both like, of them are great. But yeah, yeah, they, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I Can't Help It, which was your track. Yeah, yeah. Right? I, and I, that I actually, that Stevie Wonder wrote that, right? Yeah, Stevie wrote it. Stevie and Susie Green. Um, yeah. She, I think Stevie wrote the music, and I think Susie Green might have wrote the lyrics or co-wrote the lyrics. But, um, but yeah, this is like actually one of the few times that they hooked up, and it was actually dope, because yeah. their other collabs were not good. He's talking yeah. about Stevie and Stevie Michael, and Michael oh, because yeah, yeah, they did yeah. uh, they did get it off of which was on uh, get it get it. See, you don't even remember the song. No, I don't get it. It was I on get it was on ah like, oh, God get it was on the characters album the Stevie Wonder characters album. Wow. It was an album from '87. It was that the single was Skeletons. Skeletons in your oh, yeah, closet. Yeah, yeah. That was the single. Okay. And and yeah, actually get I'm it not was even the up song on that. that. Yeah, it was. It was. Sorry, did they have another club? That they had another jam. They did just, just good friends on bad. Or bad, on bad, on Michael Jackson bad album. It was you the know, last song on side one. You know, it had to be a bad collab if it wasn't a lead or a second or even third. Single, <laughs> right. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah just good friends together. and get it. Those were not good, but uh, this one, they got it right. And but this, this I mean, obviously, like, we, you know, we we say that this is arguably a perfect album. Like, why is this your track? I mean, it's just a perfect song. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just so. I mean, God. You know, what I mean, I mean, even to the point where it's like, it's to me, it's a great example of like things. The difference between being correct and being right. Mm -hmm. So, the last verse of this song, like the kind of ad libs that he's doing, he's singing them in the wrong key. Right. Like you can go, I can't have it if I wanted to. Like he's, it's technically wrong. Right. But that shit is right. You know what I'm saying? Like it can't be. Is that really? Yeah. I Let's so go cool. to the end. Like he's. That's like, fascinating. Like it's <laughs> it's technically again wrong, yeah, but yeah. that shit is fucking dope. It feels good, right? Yeah. Right, right. So, but nah, man, yeah. just perfect song. Like really understated, cool production, beautiful changes. An ex um, extension of what Pizza was saying. Like there's, I mean, there's this this album is loaded with hits. Right. Yeah. Loaded yeah. with unbelievable songs. And again, like the previous albums, you pick almost the slow song of the album. <laughs> what, so my question was, did you always gravitate to more melodic and a slow and more of a feel song versus, you know, girl, get up and dance? Right. Well, I mean, I guess for me, the thing was, I just always went where other people weren't going. So like, you know, you don't stop till you get enough. And work I mean, there's, night. yeah, work it, like yeah. that shit was everywhere. Like we yeah, was yeah. always dancing yeah. to that. It right. was yeah. every family reunion. Yeah. Like that was, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like those records were just, I mean, they were everywhere. Yeah. So it wasn't until I got older when I actually went past, right. <laughs> you know, right. the years. Right, right. And I was like, oh shit, right. what is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, and then like when De La sampled it on Break of Dawn, and mixed it with the smoky. I was Perfect. like, oh my God. Yeah, sampling like, perfection. Yeah. Oh, really dope. Yeah. I was like, y'all really assholes for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was so dope. Yeah.